Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel, Black Cat Tarot. Today we're doing something a little bit different. I've started a series for um, what do you need to know right now, but for the Myers-Briggs personality types. So for this reading, we're doing ENTJs, and I'm going to start off with some tarot cards. So let's do ENTJs, you know. Okay. Okay, um, I'm going to take all four of these. I was really, I don't usually do that, but I'm getting a message and that just popped up, so yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get you guys some oracle cards. These are the wisdom of the oracle. I got them recently, so I have, I have the guidebook out to read. Okay, so what do ENTJs need to know right now? Co-create, okay. Co-create, and what else? What else? Oh, thinker. Okay, this these cards really fit your guys's personality to start with. <laughs> Co-create and thinker, very fitting for INTJs. Okay, I'm gonna get you guys some numerology oracle cards. Take time to breathe out. That's kind of interesting. ENTJ is in there right now. Communication is key, which I think is great to have with co create and the Queen of Swords, because the sword suit is all about communication. Okay. Get you guys some tea leaf cards really quick. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Now gonna get you guys your self oracle or self-care oracle and then I'll start telling you what I'm seeing ENTJ hydrate guys okay remember to hydrate please Give me a second as I take all of this in. Okay, so I see right now I'm getting very strong career energy with the co-create, the two of pentacles and the nine of pentacles and the magician, which the magician is all about manifesting. And you know what's so cool that I just noticed? There's a leopard right here in Co-Create, and then the magician in this deck is a leopard. That's so interesting. I love seeing stuff like that happen. Um, okay, so one thing that's really popping out, I mean, right now, is how much this pile fits the ENTJ um, personality type with the thinker and the queen of swords with all this sort of I guess, air, mental energy, and practicality with pentacles. I see right now that you guys are working on a project or a couple projects and you're really, you're doing a great job juggling things, you know what you want, you're working well with other people, or maybe, since this is something you need to know, maybe this is something that's going to happen in the future, that you're in planning stages right now. Maybe you have a sort of future goal, 
career goal that you are wanting to go after and you're manifesting it right now and it's going to involve a lot of juggling and working with other people and good communication with this communication is key and the queen of swords but I feel like right now you're not exactly at that point yet you're being asked to relax a little bit and take care of yourself aka hydrate um i think doing this will help you see clearly what the next steps you should take i'm gonna get you guys some old style and normand oracle cards because i'm gonna be honest this this is kind of an interesting reading and i would like some more information whoa okay i'm gonna take that are you serious? This is, okay. So we got a man and a man. Writer. Oh my, what? Okay. I don't know what or how or what the chances are that you would get both of the men in one deck and then the man in this deck. But I'm seeing if you're... If you're into men, <laughs> you might be meeting someone in November who you're going to be in a great relationship with because I'm kind of getting that message. But what I'm also getting from these three men is sort of with this co-create card, you're going to be, if you've already met these people, and I'm sure you, you probably have, you're going to be building something with them. But I think it's really important that you need to take care of yourself right now by relaxing a little bit, hydrating, so you can think clearly. I feel like you need to take a moment, even though I, I have a feeling you really just want to rush in, do this. Um, I feel like you need to take a moment so that you can be like this thinker and think really logically about the situation and what steps you need to take. Because I feel like you've had a lot on your plate recently. And you're doing a great job of juggling it. You really are. Um, but I feel like maybe with how involved you've been, it's really wanting you to take a moment to focus on yourself, what your body needs you know, what your mind needs to relax it just a little bit and maybe it'll help improve some communication. Because I'm seeing whatever you're working on or going to work on, communication is very important. With communication is key, the Queen of Swords, and all these three different people, like communication is important. Um, and I think with the heart, if because I'm... This is the only indication of our romance in this reading, and what I'm mostly getting from this is sort of the bond between these three other people that, two or three other people that you're going to be working with, and how if you take time out right now, and it doesn't have to be very long to sort of sort out your brain, because I feel like there's a lot of chaos going on in there, to really sit and think, what do I want to do? This is how I'm going to plan it. Who am I going to do it with? You know, and how can I best communicate and work with these people so that we can have a close work relationship and everything goes smoothly and we're all satisfied, uh, satisfied financially because you guys have the Nine of Pentacles. And I feel like this endeavor is definitely going to lead to financial prosperity. But I think to get there... You need to sit back, you need to understand that your success and the success of these other people is sort of bound to you guys working together and communicating clearly with each other and really maintaining a good relationship, a good work relationship with each other, as well as just taking a step out to really, I guess, think about all you've done, all you've achieved so far, and then um, thinking of your next steps, what you're going to manifest next, how you're going to go after it.
Okay, so I'm going to quickly read from the booklet for these two cards since I'm getting used to the deck. And yeah, just if it resonates, it does. If it doesn't, um, that's not the meaning for you, I guess. So for co-create, it says essential meanings, creativity, art, inspiration, fruition, and manifestation, which is really cool because it's right next to magician. Oracle's message. You may not consider yourself a creative person, but in fact, you're creating your reality every moment of every day via your thoughts, feelings, beliefs, intentions, and actions. Yet you must consider that you do so in partnership with spirit, consciousness, God, or whatever name you call your higher power. You are a spark of this intelligence that works through you, nudging you with inspired thought and intuitive guidance. You're a paintbrush that co-creates a beautiful, unique expression of your own individuality, blended with universal spirit. You are a product of divine inspiration, and now you're aligned with it to create miracles. Oh my gosh, it's so cool with the magician. Okay. When you view your life as art and know, and know you, co-create it, only beauty and grace result. Prepare to be amazed. Okay, so I definitely, you are definitely in a really great manifesting stage right now. And I like the idea, and maybe you are, you do need to connect a little bit more with your higher self, but I feel like most of the co-create has to do with these other people involved in this big project that you're going to be working on. It's really being highlighted that, hey, taking time out to take care of yourself for a second so you can think clearly and plan ahead and you're able to, able to better communicate will really help this go far. So let's look at the thinker. Okay. Essential meanings are strategy, being analytical, and logical. I don't think this is a problem for ENTJs, but okay. The Oracle's message is, the ability to reason and strategize is the focus now. Take things at face value and follow the logical path. Your calculations will prove to be correct for the, in this moment there is no deeper meaning than what is obvious. Things are exactly as they seem. You have all the information you need. Keep it simple and you will win the game of life you're playing right now. Okay. This is a really interesting reading. I hope it resonated with you guys. I hope you got some messages out of it. I'm going to leave it here. Um, I really enjoyed doing it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.